Hello everyone. Well, in this video, we are going to discuss about the future callback interface. As you know that this is a generic interface which takes HTTP response as a type in case of HTTP async client. So basically this interface is used to get the status of the request. Inside this interface, these are the three methods which we need to override. So inside our model package, I am going to add a class called request status and I am going to implement this interface. So in our case, the requirement is that when you implement this interface, you should supply the type as HTTP response. And I am going to implement the three method. So here I will put sysout and the message. So request completed along with the protocol version. So result dot get protocol version. So this result is coming from here. Similarly for the second method, which will get invoked as soon as the request is failed. So request failed and here I will print the message. So exception object dot get message. And the third one, which will get invoked when the request got cancelled. So request cancelled. Now in our previous video, while creating the HTTP async client, we supply the null inside the execute method. Okay. Now, if you want to use the future callback interface, you need to create the object of the class which has implemented this particular interface and supplied over here. So, in our case, it will be new request request status. Okay. Now I'm going to run the same script again. So run as Java application. So as you can see here, our request got completed and when it got completed, it also invoked the, this particular method, which is written and returning us this response. So basically the future callback interface is used to monitor the status of the request.